It's possible that the amount of taxes you have to pay will go up or down in the future. During her budget speech, the Minister of Finance, Nirmala Sitaraman, made several important announcements that will benefit individuals of the middle class who work hard and pay taxes. These are referred to as the new income tax slabs, and the central government has opted to implement them as the standard tax system. Nevertheless, the previous system of income tax brackets is still in place and will not be eliminated. Instead, when it comes time to pay their taxes, taxpayers now have the choice of choosing between the two different systems. Watching this video together, let's talk about the new income tax slabs. Firstly, FM cleared the air over the rebate on an income of 5 lakh rupees which is free from taxes in both old and new tax regimes. This will change ahead. Sitaraman has proposed to make the exemption limit to 7 lakh rupees under the new tax regime which means that up to this income amount a taxpayer will not be required to pay any tax. Further, she proposed of change the tax structure in this regime by reducing the number of slabs to 5 and increasing the tax exemption limit to 3 lakh rupees. Hence, the new revised tax rates are Income slab of 3 lakh rupees, no tax levied. Income of 3 lakh rupees to 6 lakh rupees, 5% tax rate. Income of 6 lakh rupees to 9 lakh rupees, 10% tax rate. Income of 9 lakh rupees to 12 lakh rupees, 15% tax rate. Income of 12 lakh rupees to 15 lakh rupees, 20% tax rate. Above 15 lakh rupees income, 30%. Additionally, the FM has proposed to reduce the surcharge rate from 37% to 25% on the highest tax rate in the country of 42.74%, which is among the highest in the world. With the reduction in the surcharge rate, the maximum rate would be 39%. Additionally, FM suggested that the advantages of the standard deduction be carried over to the new tax system. Therefore, every salaried individual with an income of 15.5 lakh or more will be eligible for a benefit up to 52,500 rupees. But FM also said, we are also making the new income tax regime as the default tax regime. However, citizens will continue to have the option to avail the benefit of the old tax regime.